Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Nurse B. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Okay, so what brings you in today? Um, I've just been feeling a bit stressed lately, and so I just wanted to get a checkup. Okay. I haven't been in a while. And that stress is causing you some physical symptoms as well? A little bit, yeah. Okay. And is there anything new going on in your life that will be causing some additional stress? Um, work is pretty stressful right now, and as well, um, I'm planning a wedding, and so... Okay, yeah, that can be definitely a lot. stress. For sure. It's hard to get away without a couple of breakdowns while doing that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so, so tell me a little bit about um, what's been going on with you on an everyday basis. Are you... I'm feeling fatigued, um, any headaches, anything like that, anything comes to mind right away? Um, yeah, particularly tired, okay. um, and I have been getting headaches in the afternoon. Okay. And are you sleeping the regular amount? Um, no, I haven't been sleeping very well. Okay. And are you having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? Um, staying asleep. Okay, so you'll wake up during the night. Mm -hmm. And about how many times a night do you think you wake up? Um, at least three or four. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. It's definitely disruptive at that point. Okay, and uh, so you said you get some headaches in the afternoon. Um, can you just point to me on your head where those happen? Um, this area usually. The front, frontal mm -hmm. area here. Yeah. Is it always on that right side or is mm, it equally distributed? I'm not sure. Okay, keep an eye on that. And any other new symptoms other than um, just the stress? Um, no, not okay. really. So I do want to do a full uh, checkup for you, including doing some um, paying particular attention to some of the things that stress can affect. So that's going to be your um, your heart rate, uh, your blood pressure, and also just some little things along the way. Um, and also those headaches, and I want to pay particular attention to the head and to the eyes as well, because of based on where that um, head is hurting you. Um, so I'm going to put this away for now. I'll take some notes along the way on my chart here. but. Just get my hand sanitized. Jeremy, I've seen you before, so you know how everything's gonna work. Please stop me if you're ever too uncomfortable or if something's hurt, mm -hmm. painful, okay? Let's just get some vitals. So I'm just gonna come over here and take your temperature. It's a little high. Do you tend to run warm at all? Mm, not usually, no. Okay. So yeah, it's nothing, nothing too bad, but you're running about 98.9, which is, you know, just a little couple of degrees, not a fever, but if that's not normal for you, it could just be an indication of that stress and that lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. um, so let's just get your finger for me, please. Point your finger. And just set that down right there and relax. And while you do that, I'm just going to take a pulse. The pulse is fairly deep. So it looks like pulse is 73, you're at 98% uh, oxygen levels, so that's relatively normal, maybe a little high on the pulse. Um, you feeling any stress right now, or did you just come off something stressful? Um, I'm feeling okay right feeling now. Okay. All right, it's not concerning levels, but it could be a little high for a resting heart rate for someone of your age um, and, and physique, um, athletic build, um, but uh, again, not in the worrying. So let me just take a note on that. While I do that, take your blood pressure. Can you just remove your jacket for me, please? I'm just gonna set it aside for now. Okay, perfect. And I'll take your left wrist. And this is just gonna get a little tight on the wrist here. And just put it up against, yeah, perfect. Take some notes on that. Just 
watching your respirations as well while this is on here. Okay. All right, so we have a 125 over 88. That's a little high. Uh, stress can definitely cause some elevation of the blood pressure, but something we want to keep an eye on for sure. All right, I'm just going to feel some pulses now. Just one at a time. Okay. Okay, those are getting strong. I'm going to listen to those. No breweries noted. Just gonna take the ones in your wrist again. I did feel the one side. Just want to make sure we're going by ladder. A. We are plus two. Okay, let me just get the ones in your temples here. Fine. I'm just going to take a look at the head and the face now. And I want to get my light and I'll look through the hair as well. Any itching of the scalp, tenderness, anything like that? Uh, not really, no. Any pain when I press on the head like this? No. Okay. About right here where those headaches are. Uh, maybe slight tenderness. Tenderness, okay. How about down here? Anything here? Yeah, it's slight. It's slightly tender. Mm -hmm. Could be something sinus related, eyes. yeah. Oh, of the eyes and, and the sinus cavities here. And any pain here? Slight, yeah. Nothing shooting in the head though, right? No. Good. Let's take a look in here. You said no itching, no flaking. Any new hair loss? Mm, not that I've noticed. Okay, no. good, good. Definitely can be a stress symptom. Hair looks nice and healthy, same as last time. Stir your head for me slightly, thank you. It's just a couple spots here to be sure, but I see nothing. Gonna check the sensation of the scalp. Poke you with something a little bit sharp. Just feels like this. If you give me your hand, not too sharp. And just close your eyes and say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Good. Yes. Okay. This side. Yes. 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 Okay, very good. While I have this out, I'll just do a little bit of facial sensation. Um, so again, close your eyes, just say yes when you feel it. it's going to be a nice light touch. Yes. 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 Good. And now do you feel the difference between this and this? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I want you to say sharp or dull. This is sharp and this is dull. Okay. Dull. 
dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Good. Dull. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Very good. All right, you can open your eyes for me. And I'm just looking at the eyes themselves. They do look a little bit red. Um, do you have any tearing with the tiredness? Mm, maybe a little bit. A little yeah. bit? Okay. Just want to do a couple of tests on the eyes there, starting out with my light. So just look straight ahead for me that way. Just ignore my light. Okay. Reaction time is maybe just a smidge slow, but good light reflection there. Just gonna look into the eye. I'm gonna get kind of close. Can you look up for me, please? Okay. I'm just the other side. Look up for me. And look down. Conjunctiva is right color. Everything looks fine there. I'm just gonna touch the top here really light. Does that send any pain anywhere? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so yeah, definitely a lot of tenderness around that eye region. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel too much swelling, but temperature-wise, your forehead's definitely a little warmer than the rest of your face. Not feverish, not clammy, dry, just a little bit warm. Have some swelling or some just discomfort there, some buildup of the sinuses, perhaps. Right, and look like straight ahead for me. I'm just going to try the leaf flex here. Good. This side. I have a couple of tubes here that are different colors. I want you to tell me what colors they are. Have you ever had any issues with vision uh, loss, colors, uh, blindness, or anything like that? No. All right. So tell me what color this tube is. Orange. Okay. And what color is this tube? Uh, yellow. Red. Um, teal. Mm-hmm. Blue. Okay. We'll save these for later because we're also going to do a little bit of smell and taste sensation. I want you to look at my finger and follow it everywhere it goes. Any double vision with this right here? No. Okay, so just follow it everywhere it goes. Tell me if there's any double vision or blurriness. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, keep watching it. Good. Follow it in and follow it out. Very good. I want you to look straight at me and just tell me, uh, Look at, keep looking at my nose, but tell me uh, which side's wiggling, right or left? Left. Right. Good. Both. Very good. Top. Mm -hmm. Bottom. Left. Both. Very good. Same thing, keep staring at me. I'm just gonna bring my fingers in. Tell me when you see them. See them. Okay. See them. See them. See them. Okay, so it seems like the function of your eyes are intact. And any issues with reading or anything like that since the last time we saw you? Not especially. Okay. It just seems like a little bit of that sinus pressure or the pressure in the uh, the eyes could be a little bit of an ocular migraine situation, um, which can definitely happen from fatigue uh, and stress. All right, moving down to the nose. I'm going to start by just having you breathe in for me and breathe out. Okay, and just turn forward. I'm just going to take a look here. Not seeing any swelling or caving or redness. Any issues with your nose right now? Um, I'm always a little stuffed up. A little stuffed up? Okay. Uh, That's typical for you or is that recently worse? Um, it's a little worse recently. Okay. Uh, has anything changed about where you sleep or the weather or where you live recently? Not that I can think of. Okay. That's um, another indication it could be a bit of a sinus issue. We might want to uh, put you on a brief antibiotic for sinus infection if it doesn't get better. 
um, but we'll keep checking. In fact, I want to look at the sinuses. So open your mouth for me. I'm just gonna shine this up into the sinus here. Okay, the other side. Looks like it might be a little bit included actually. Couldn't see it clearly the way I would hope to. I'm gonna give you a few things to smell. And again, I know you said you've been having some issues, so if you can't smell the uh, essence here, just let me know. Can you tell me what that essence is? Um, I think it's coffee. Yep, okay. So that's a pretty strong smell, I think you smell it. And then what about this one? Um, some sort of citrus. Yep, so it's gonna be like a lemon, so that's fine. Okay, let me take a look inside your nose. Tilt back for me, please. And I definitely see some swelling and redness there. More so on the left nair than the right nair. Have you noticed it's easier to breathe in that side? Mm-hmm. Breathe in here again for me, in this side. Yeah, a little bit easier to breathe in that side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and you said, you pointed to that side originally, actually, when you said about the headaches, right? Yeah. So that could be linked there. Okay. Uh, let me take a look into the mouth. So just open up for me. And say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Any pain when you open and close your jaw? Just a little clicking? Yeah. Okay, that's normal. I remember that from last time, but just take a note here. All right, can you push your tongue into my hand here and this side here and stick it out for me and move it side to side. Good, good symmetry. Raise your eyebrows up nice and high. Close them real tight. Don't let me open them. Puff your cheeks out for me. And good. Can you turn into my hand? Good, strong neck muscles. Forwards, backwards. Okay, can you go all the way to your shoulder? Just range of motion and the other way and drop your head all the way back. Any uh, pain on the throat there when you do that? No. no. And forwards. And any additional pain in the sinuses when you tip your head forward like that? There's a little additional a pressure. A little additional pressure, okay. Yeah, that definitely to me sounds like sinus issues, which could be related to the stress or just perhaps you're not sleeping as well and therefore you're more susceptible to um, illness and getting sick. Um, let's go ahead and do some tasting. So I'm going to give you two things. It's going to be sour or sweet. I just want you to tell me which one it is. So let's have a quick drink of that. Um, that one's sour. Okay. And by default, but let's just let me know if you can taste that. Yeah, that one's sweet. Okay. So that was all fine. Let me just check the sinus, or check the uh, lymph nodes here. A bit of a swollen one on this left side. Can you shrug your shoulders for me? Okay, while I have it up there, just keep them up. Okay. Okay, lymph nodes feel, I just have one swollen one. You feel that right here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the other side, but it's more on this side. Can you swallow for me? Good. Okay, I'm just feeling the neck and the shoulders here. Definitely a lot of tension, which can also lead to some headaches. Okay. And let's take a look at those ears now. Any hearing loss or issues recently? Um, no. Okay. A little bit of wax buildup, but nothing abnormal. Here. Turn your head for me, please. Thank you. And this side actually looks a little clearer. Okay. I'm gonna make some noises and I just want you to tell me left, right, or both. Left, right, right, both. Okay. And do the same thing with just a little bit of puff of air here. Left. Okay. Um, center. Good. Try to check you with that one. Hearing feels totally fine. Um, have you had any issues 
uh, you said no issues to hearing, no. um, not getting any um, t tinnitus or anything like that, or that, that uh, well, ringing in your ear? Um, occasionally, but not Not, not consistently, often, yeah. okay. I just want to take a listen to your chest because your pulse and that blood pressure was just a smidge high. So just breathe normally for me. I'm just gonna be listening to the heart in a couple of places. And I want you to take a couple breaths from me, just normally, but a little deeper every time I touch you. Okay. Good. Okay. Heartbeat was a little fast, but I didn't hear any um, irregular sounds, irregular heartbeat there, and the lung sounds were clear. Any issues with feeling like you can't catch your breath, anything like that? No, I'm not really, no. Okay, That's, that all looks fine to me personally. Um, I'm just gonna check your pulses here at the elbow. Those are fine as well, and I wanna do some reflexes on you. So just give me your arm here. Give me the full weight of your arm, just completely relax, very good. for me. Perfect. Okay, I want you to stare straight ahead. Don't pay attention to me. Okay, same thing on the other side. Good. Can you let your jaw hang for me? Okay. I'm going to draw something in your hand. I want you to tell me what it is. Uh, three. Okay, and how about this one? One. And what if you do, if you, uh, if you add those together, what do you get? Four. Okay. Any problems with processing information, uh, thinking, things like that? No. Okay. Say so the other side. I'm just going to move your finger up and down. I want you to tell me which way I'm going. Close your eyes. Up, down, down. Okay. Can you touch all your fingers like that as fast as you can go? Same thing on your legs, back and forth. Well, it seems like your, you know, neurological functions are intact as well. Um, just taking a final look here. So Jeremy, what I think is going on is definitely stress. Um, definitely that, that fatigue, I can see that in the results that we've got here. And I do actually think your headaches and your sinuses in general will feel better if you get a little, take a vitamin C supplement um, and also just have something that can really lower that heart rate and relax you a little bit. So I really want to prescribe you one of our emotional support animals today, okay? That sounds great. So I've got one right here for you. And let's go ahead and get him. Okay. So this is Chili. He's one of our best emotional support animals. Um, he's really good for snuggling and sleeping and petting. Um, so when you feel yourself getting stressed, um, just get a little bit of a lick in and... Um, they say his stinky breath is very healing, so. He's really soft. Yeah, he's very soft. And just anything tactile you can do to sort of calm down and just sort of bring yourself back to the moment, I think will help a lot. Um, if that doesn't improve, come back in and we can um, get you the next uh, size up of the um, the emotional support animal, the bigger one might help a little more. Yeah, maybe a newer model. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Any other questions for me before I let you go, Jeremy? Uh, no, that's it. 
All right, well, thank you so much, and I hope you feel better, and um, I hope you enjoy um, your new emotional support animal. Thank you so much. Thank you.